Well, forgive me guys, but it's going to be a rock theme today because we've got a war boss versus war boss mirror. Yes, a 1v1 hard mirror. Can you believe it? Oh, I love this shit. I actually love arc mirrors and a war boss versus war boss mirror is some of the best because it's balanced. It's really annoying when you're fighting the war boss in an arc mirror and you're not the war boss because every time you send your sluggers to 1v1 his sluggers or your somebody's to 1v1 his sluggers, you know that he can just drop use your choppers on his sluggers and then they're gonna win the fight. If he times that right and he uses it when you're both like at 40 30 percent HP, they get use your choppers. They instantly get special attacks. Your shit gets wiped instantly. So it, ugh, it, it's very, very hard. You basically can't take any 1v1 melee engagement when you're fighting against a war boss beyond the initial first couple of engagements. And that really sucks. So at least here, we've got war boss versus war boss. So that's less of a concern because if they drop it you can drop it too still there's a big advantage on who uses use your choppers first because you've got to remember use your choppers gives you a giant melee skill buff so if you use it first you'll probably proc specials before the enemy can even react in time and that could if you time it right lead to a wipe and this is why the orc mirrors are so awesome because there's just so much damage going around orcs are not that tough Certainly not before they get their knob leaders on their squads. When it's just boys, they're very, very fragile. And they're the highest damage race in the game. So yeah, this is what we're working with. We've got the Orc Mirror. Mathis is rocking double sluggers. And this is Piano rocking single sluggers, double shooters. Now Mathis, I mean, a lot of you guys aren't even going to know Mathis. Because he's a bit of a he's a bit of a relic of the past at this point. I mean, he's just come back side playing again. But... Mathis was one of the most legendary war buses of all time. You know, you had Holy Hammer from the pre-elite period, and then I say in Elite, as far as war boss mains go, it was Mathis. Mathis was incredible, because he didn't have a huge amount of playtime, but for the amount of playtime he had, he was very good at one thing, and that was spamming melee. Whether it was triple sluggers with a war boss, or whether it was triple hormigons with a hive tyrant, Mathis could beat nearly anything with it. He'd be able to beat Tyrannis with their spawn mines with triple sluggers. He'd be able to beat IG with their sentinels. Just using triple sluggers. It really was something. But obviously he's only just come back to the game now, so we'll have to see how he does. No, there's instrumentals. I don't want instrumentals. I meant vocals. I wanted it to be instrumental. Oh well, I'll have to remove this song from the playlist after. But so far, the, the war boss is causing some serious problems. Man, the war boss kicks ass in this mirror. Look at this guy. He's in level 2 already, for Christ's sake. So... Um... Just big shooters on the the boys from Mathis, surprisingly. Triple gens, wow. Looters coming out for Piano. Lost all of his gen farm. But Piano... Um, I would say he has better control of the map. Not really. I mean, he does. No, what am I talking about? I'm reading them wrong. Mathis has way better map control. He's got... Both the VPs. He is obviously going to lose this VP in a second. The problem for Mathis, I suppose, is that he doesn't have any wreck points. So Piano's got this one. Piano's actually about to fully mature this one. Mathis hasn't even had opportunity to capture his natural wreck. So that's not great. Hmm. This is the world's bravest looter. I don't know what it's doing. There's already double sluggers on the field, and he doesn't know about the storm boys. Why the hell is this looter running around on his own? I thought he was going to turn around and try and force off the sluggers there. Okay, he is. I think Piano's having a stroke. What? Piano, what are you doing? What are you doing? This is terrible. All it takes is like a custom shooter to use its ability and just wipe it. God. Strange. Alright. Piano replaces his gens, he gets all triple gens straight away. Slugger Boy is going to cap that part of the map. And I mean, at this point, Piano actually has better map control. 
But composition wise, clearly Mathis has a much stronger composition. Yeah, Stormboys do a nice aggressive jump on these these shooters who now have got double big shooters. And that's going to be the end of those shooter boys. So Mathis now is going to be exploiting that extra damage that Orcs have compared to other races and just going for that really fast gen bash. Oh, we get to see the bang bang hammer on the wall bus as well. I love this wall gear. You do not see this wall gear very often, but it's so good. An attempt at a flanking gem bash here from Piano, but oh wow, Mathis hasn't noticed and Yuji Choppers goes down on the sluggers of Piano. There is no way for these slugger boys to be able to compete, and this is how you know Mathis is very, very rusty right now. Early loses his slugger boys, and they were upgraded with burners as well. Oh my god, he loses them! Oh, that's so bad. However, wait, what? I don't know what happened then, I don't know how the stomp from the war boss didn't knock over the, sh the um, looters. Oh, Mathis' micro is terrible, he could have easily grabbed that shooter boy there. Wiped him out. Wow, he's actually going to wipe out these shoot. He could have actually wiped out both of Piano's shooters in that instance. This is why I'm saying, these orc mirrors are absolutely mental. There's just so much damage going around. Everything is just getting wiped left, right, and center. And it's not like things change that much in tier 2 either. Yes, the boys all have knobs in tier 2, so they're more tanky. But oh my god, the slugger knobs and storm boy knobs come out then. The weird boy comes out, and they can just do crazy amounts of damage as well. So Piano is actually going for a decap here, which is interesting. Yeah, he uses Ard boys, because he usually chops his on cooldown. So that would mean that he would handily win this fight, even though... He took some damage getting the decap, but obviously Mathis counters that by using Yuji Choppers. Yuji Choppers will always beat Ard Boys, and the reason for that is because Yuji Choppers gives melee skill, so it causes the Sluggers to special. Alright, so we see the, the angry bits and spiky armor from the war boss of Piano now. It's going to make him very tanky. Spiky armor giving him max HP increases as well as HP regen. And then the angry bits as well gives him nice HP regen after he charges as well as a damage buff. Sneaky infiltrated looters here going to open up on the war boss. They will force him off. Yeah. Where are the storm boys? Storm boys are over here. They're going to force off some shooters of piano. Well, the only shooters that he's got now. Man, it feels bad. This is a really tricky spot for Piano. I feel like he's so far behind. I don't like these looters, man. They really have not achieved much. So Mathis is going tier 2 already. Yeah, this board's really badly for Piano. But hey, we'll just have to see how this goes. It's an Orc Mirror. People can die in seconds. All it takes is a good few specials in melee and then things change very fast. Kinda surprised not to see the custom shooter. I guess it doesn't scale amazingly. Ah, it can do though. Stun the war boss and then attack him with upgraded sluggers can definitely be quite effective. Obviously the Bang Bang Hammer is the best option for army versus army fights, but the custom shooter itself counters the Bang Bang Hammer by stunning the enemy war boss so you can focus firing. But then you could get like spiky armor on the Bang Bang Hammer war boss and then you'd just be so tanky that it doesn't really matter. So Yuji Chopper's coming down on the Storm Boys, but a beautiful stomp there from the war boss, disrupting quite well. It's got all that regen from the charge as well, and Ard Boys. Ooh, but a really nice timely special from the Shooter Boys. Sorry, from the Storm Boys, who then jump in, but <laughs> counter initiation from Yuji Chopper, Slugger Boys, and they wipe the Storm Boys! Oh my god, just like that, it's so easy to wipe squads in this bloody matchup. That's insane. God, Paul Mathis jumping his Storm Boys in there, trying to get a nice little kill on that annoying War Boss. Boom. Piano Sluggers said, nope. See you later, Storm Boys. They're gone. Crazy. Absolute madness. Seems your only reliable unit here is the... the war boss. 
So pretty nice little engagement there for Piano. The looter coming in very helpful. He knew that he had the looter there by, so delayed with his sluggers. Yeah, yeah, fight me. Easy engagement. You got a knob. Then caught him with the looters. Forces off Mathis's slugger boys. Great little exchange for Piano that actually because the war truck has come out from Mathis and that war truck could have easily drove down here. The slugger boys disengage, get in it, push forward, force off the looters. Mathis is going to own this VP for even longer, put on more pressure. Already Mathis has a pretty substantial VP lead. 480 VPs to Mathis to only 306 to Piano. Really substantial VP lead on this map. Caldaris Refinery is one of the maps where honestly it's, it's very hard to put VP pressure on the opponent. This middle VP is very, very defensible, and trying to get a triple cap is near enough impossible. Natural VP is extremely natural. Bit of a miss macro there from Mathis. Actually failed to go after the looter straight away. If he positioned correctly with him in the right angle, that should have been a dead looter squad. And that's kind of huge, because that looter literally just got a beamy death gun, which can now be used to kill the war truck, so... Mathis definitely making some pretty major misplays. Weird Boy coming out from Piano. Weird Boy will do anti-vehicle damage, I mean his his blast basically hurts everything. But the problem is the war truck's really quick. Weird Boy's projectiles are slow. He's got a big wind up and a long cooldown, so it can be very hard to actually hit a war truck with a Weird Boy's attacks. So that's why generally you do need something else that can beat me death gun. Mathis is Warboss idling. Just catching that because I know that Mathis has been watching all my videos recently, so I'm sure he'll be very frustrated by the fact that his Warboss was idling for so long there. Especially when you're a player like Mathis who, you know, I, I'm sure he's extremely competitive. I'm sure he's very much a perfectionist, so seeing him playing at this level is uh, probably frustrating him. But obviously he's not played in ages, so he's going to be rusty. It's only, it's only human. God, why are you an orc? Now you're a human, man. We make mistakes, we need practice. But wow, Mathis is taking quite the gamble here, going straight to tier 3. I, I... I don't even know how I feel about this. I don't know whether it's a good idea or not. Because it's like, what else would he get in tier 2? Stormboys are great in tier 2, but he'd be getting level 1 Stormboys, so how effective is that really? I don't know. I'm curious what his plan is in tier 3. Is he just going to spam commandos? Yep. Yep. He is. Yeah, commandos are amazing in the Orc Mirror. I mean, if you get enough commandos, you can basically kill everything. Like, literally, it's, it's that straightforward. You can chain your love Dadakas to knock over knobs. Knobs are probably the hardest thing to kill, though. Flash gates just get ambushed. Then you can beat them in melee. Because commandos actually do the same, same damage as slugger boys in melee. Pretty scary. You can just deal with vehicles by getting the knob on the commandos who has a rocket launcher. And then blobs of boys, you just kill them with burner bombs. But yeah, we'll see. Storm boys would be a very good counter to commandos. And in theory, the um, the weird boy can be pretty good as well. We'll see. Alright, well the Death, Tra the Death Trade is charging forward. I mean, yeah, the Death Trade is really going to struggle against double commandos, I think. Man, Piano must be shitting himself now. I would be shitting myself seeing double commandos. That is quite the threat. You know, one good burner bomb into Love the Daka, you've got problems. Not to mention the threat of potentially rocks. Love the Daka into rocks. When you're playing orcs, you know, can wipe your entire friggin' army. Yeah, this is not a great spot from the, uh, the Death Dread. Now he does have his war boss in there. Just gonna try and tie up the commando. So the war boss is trying to tie up one commando, whilst the, the Death Dread ties up the other one. 
Did Mathis just use Codder Boys? What the hell? Was that an accident? Did he just use Codder Boys? I can't tell, but everything's got yellow buff circles. Oh, he's forgot about his sluggers. The sluggers are gonna wipe. He's focusing too much on the Death Dread, which honestly really isn't that big of a threat. And he lets the Death Dread take out the War Truck as well. Mathis, what are you doing? <laughs> he is giving Piano the opportunity to come back in this game. Unbelievable. So, Piano loses his Death Dread, but it was basically useless at this point anyway. He got it before he seen that there were double commandos, which can get easy AV. And in return, he takes out the War Truck and wipes Mathis' Slugger Boys. And he's getting Storm Boys now. Yeah, like I said, Storm Boys would be the best counter to the Commandos. The thing is, the Commandos will do pretty good damage to the Storm Boys in melee. But hopefully the Storm Boys will proc some nice specials and that's how they can beat them. Mm. Not actually seen the Bang Bang Hammer get that much value, to be honest. There's not really been any crazy army versus army fights where there's been a lot of melee involved. That's when the Bang Bang Hammer comes really good. You use your Warboss to counter initiate, and he just keeps meleeing anything that comes close. And every time he does that melee attack, he's buffing up the damage of all of your shooters. Gets a bit silly in prolonged army versus army engagements, trust me. Piano's Warboss with that spiky armor doing a pretty good job actually, getting into melee with the commandos and then the sluggers get in and force off the shooters. Mathis needs all of his troops together. Commandos are busy going down the side trying to get a bit of gem bashing going. I mean, they do succeed, but at this point Piano's actually accrued enough power to go tier 3 himself, so... Thing is, commandos and flash kits, they don't really cost that much power in tier 3. Knobs and loot tanks do. We're not going to see any loot tanks here, not, not when you're fighting double commandos, that would be stupid, why would you get a tank? Knobs would be a pretty good choice actually. You can see that Piano would be able to overwhelm the commandos, because at this point Mathis only has three ranged units, right? Commandos are great, but when you've got Sluggers, Warboss, Weird Boy who can charge in another Warpath and vomit on one of them, and then potentially Knobs on top of it, yeah, that would be very hard for Mathis to handle. But knobs are really expensive on power, and piano is frankly nowhere near that yet. That was a really loud song. I feel like there's a bit of volume deviation between these songs, which is annoying. Bigger brains grants the over there ability. Ooh, I like that. I wonder why he's got that. See, the reason I'd get that. I mean, obviously you can use it. To f right, here we go. What? Clearly that doesn't work on units knocked over by Love the Daka. Well, you learn something new every day, guys. I've been playing this game for 11 years, and I did not know that that was the case. What I was trying to say is, I would get over there, so that if they knock my troops over with Love the Daka, and then try and drop the rocks on me, I can dodge it by throwing my units with over there. But it looks like... It looks like it doesn't actually affect units knocked over by Love the Daka, which makes it kind of pointless. Which is very annoying. Okay, so. Oh, Mathis' war boss has the angry bits now, and that damage boost is insane! Oh my god! Oh, oh the damage! The damage! From a tier 1 weapon, man. This thing's crazy. 75 melee DPS, but it does so much damage per hit. Yet indeed. Jesus Christ, that was so crazy. Because you see, when the, the Wobos uses his charge, it gives him 35% extra damage. And then he's doing 30% more damage because the Weird Boy was in retreat. Jesus, man. That was a really expensive investment. And now Piano is going for a looted tank. This seems like madness to me. Even against... Okay, right. One of the commandos has actually gone for melee. I actually totally forgot this upgrade existed. So yeah, you can actually get melee commandos now. Which do a little bit more damage than the regular commandos in melee, obviously. But, you know, think about it, that's quite a lot. They already do, like, Slugger Boy damage. So they're very high damage melee squad. But they're quite fragile. They get, um, instead of the burner bomb, they get stick bombs. So, like, normal grenades, basically. 
Um, and if you get the leader, he has a big axe, which does heavy melee damage. But in theory, that should never capture the loot tank. Why is there no icon for the uh, the melee commandos? That's weird. Oh, I don't like that. There needs to be an icon. That's weird. Like, when you click on them here, there should be an icon to say they've been upgraded. Very strange. Anyway. So we got a looted tank out. And so Big Mathis is going to start getting some of those commando knobs coming out, I suppose. But a little bit late there. A bit ridiculous using the boom gun, boom shot on the commandos when they'd already retreated. Wow, this is going to be a long game, isn't it? Look at the VPs, guys. 285 VPs to Big Mathis and still 200 plus VPs to Piano. Now Piano is going to go for some commandos himself. Wow. This is crazy. I think Piano probably wants to get some Gretchen out as well afterwards because just having one Slugger Boy to repair your looted tank when there's going to be constant chip from commandos probably not going to be good enough. You want that Slugger Boy in combat. So much better to have some Gretchen's repairing instead. There we go, here's the commando <laughs> knob leader, his big hammer. Meant to have a power claw, but I don't know, there was apparently some sort of problem with that. Alright, here we go. So the Warboss is tying up the melee commandos, yeah, not ideal. Melee commandos get their UG choppers buff, so they're going to kick the shit out of the sluggers. Lewitt tank needs to be careful, man, that knob has a big hammer. You can see the damage that does on the rear armor. Love the Daka coming out though from Piano's Commandos. Knocks over that melee commando. Okay, there we go. And we see some great. Wait, hang on. This is from Mathis. Mathis has the Gretchen's. No, no, no. The Gretchen's are meant to come out for Piano so that he can repair the loot tank with it and keep his sluggers in combat. I was going to say, these must be Grot Orderlies. So yeah, we're going to see some Gretchen coming out for Mathis and they're going to be Grot Orderlies to try and heal up all of his commandos a little bit faster. Especially the knobs. Because, you know, they don't die in combat, so they often go back to base with like half HP and take forever to heal up. So we're going to see that. They give that little HP regen buff passively, and then they have their active ability for a bit more healing. Really quite surprised that Piano hasn't got any grots himself. He really could do with a repair crew. <laughs> grots going over and forcing off the looters is quite amusing. Wow, a second looted tank from Piano. Now with two looted tanks, this could fucking work. Because looted tanks, they don't have the highest DPS of all the tanks, but they have the highest DPH. The splash damage on the looted tanks is higher than anything else. So with double looted tanks, you can force off a commando squad in essentially two shots from each tank. Instantly force the squad off because it does so much damage. But yeah, where are the shooters? He needs the shooters out here for detection. As it stands, he's in a pretty precarious position. Oh, those shooters from Mathis are not going to be able to capture that VP. There's no time. Oh my god, he lets them wipe. He actually caught the VP, but they do wipe. Oh, I love the love the Dakar into the double looted tanks. Yeah, that shuts those commanders up real hard. Wow, these looted tanks are actually doing amazing. Kudos Piano, I would not have done this. Has he got the heavy armor on his Wobos yet? No, he's still just sticking with the spiky armor. I mean, the spiky armor is basically just a bad heavy armor anyway. 
So Spiky is 250 max HP, 2 HP regen. Spiky armor is 900 max HP, 1.5 HP regen. Wow. Okay, so Spiky armor actually has higher HP regen. That is interesting. Let's have a look at the pop values. Yeah, piano is really high in pop now. Nice pop. He should definitely get some Gretchen. I don't know why he's not getting some Gretchen. No burner bomb. Why did he not throw a burner bomb before he did that? That was weird. I love how aggressive piano is. Like th th this is such unnecessary aggression, but I, it's I just love it. This is exactly how I like to play Dawn of War too. Just constant pressure. Those grots got absolutely melted by the tanks and the sluggers. Warboss gets a really nice stomp off there. Ad Boys goes down on Piano Sluggers, but that's not going to be enough. Nice boom shot. Ah, well, I take it back. Nice boom shot attempt. Fortunately, one of those commando squads has actually lost their knob. Oh god. See the splash damage from those looted tanks, man. Terrifying! Commandos cannot stick around. It's be a lot better for Piano if he had Grotz. Yay, there we go, finally! Piano has a repair crew Grotz squad. Finally. Makes sense. Mathis has quadruple commandos now. This is crazy. So he's got his melee mandos. Now going mid, but unfortunately they're about to run out of energy, so probably not going to be able to get the decap. No, certainly not when a boom gun comes in. Oh my god! Oh jeez, look at that burst damage, man! Oh, looted tanks are scary! Yeah! <laughs> Gosh! They're only level 1 and level 2 anyway. Uh, Mathis not impressed by the melee commandos. The melee commandos are definitely not ideal in this situation. Y you're better off using them on the sidelines, you know, wiping out, capping units, that kind of thing. But if you need, if you want to do that, you need a standing army to take the main fights, and Mathis unfortunately doesn't have them at the moment. So he's going for another flanking attempt here. This looted tank is looking precariously low. One more rocket shot. Yeah, he's not going to be able to deal with that. Okay. But Piano's just going for the victory on... Oh, sorry, Grotz. You just joined us as well. <laughs> well, <laughs> imagine dropping rocks on a Grot. No, he, he forces off the level 4 slugger, boys. Is he actually going to kill the looted tank? Is he? No, he can't, surely. Just tie it up in melee, what are you doing? Oh, he actually stunned the knob leader with a rocket using the custom shooter. Very nice. But he's going to win on VPs. That's what Piano wanted anyway, capturing all the victory points. Very nice. Honestly, very impressed that the looted tank plays worked. And look at the economy on Piano. Because he's using looted tanks, he isn't bleeding. Unlike Mathis, who's losing commandos left, right, and centre. So even when he finally lost that looted tank, just replaces it with another looting tank. There you go. Oh, I need to adjust this playlist. Way too much vocals. Anyway, folks, that was something a little bit different. Tell me what you think about the music. Is this music okay? Or do we have to stick with lo-fi, groovy, inspiring vibes most of the time? Anyhow, that's going to be all for today. Thank you for tuning in, folks. It's your boy Torpid, signing out.